Hi folks, uh, go back to acrylics for this one. This is a uh, a sea sea grass, I think sea sea grass, <coughs> no sea green, sea green. Oh, this kind of, but well, I can't dismantle it in a moment. Uh, sea white of Brighton. Brighton is a seaside resort on the south coast. Uh, all media acid free cartridge paper. This is 160 grams. This one in here's smaller book is 140 grams. It's a bit light for uh, acrylic work, but this is quite good, provided you don't work over it too too much. And when they're dry, which doesn't take long, I, I give them a coat of varnish or, or PVA glue diluted. And that, and that seals it and gives it a nice, nice sort of gentle uh, shine. So uh, I've got several of these books. I, I'm filling them up for my my offspring in the, in the uh, event of my demise. There'll be hopefully there'll be one each. But I haven't done many acrylics lately. I, I really am into into uh, oils. Uh, I was thinking of uh, doing uh, a Venice painting, but but they take they take too long. These these were ones I I did. I, they were based on Antoine Bouvard, French impressionist, early twentieth century. Uh, they, these uh, th these were uh, sold in a gallery, in a, a very nice gallery. Sadly, it's. Uh, it's not here anymore. Uh, but these these sort of things were taking two or three days. Uh, not solid, but uh, I tried to get them right and get you know, this water. And I, I one of the the uh, uh, well, Laszlo Ritter was was one of their artists of. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, could paint in any style, but he, he was quite ill, and eventually he couldn't finish the paintings. And I took over from him, but I, I wasn't in the same class as him. He could paint in any style, any impressionist style. Uh, Corro, oh Renoir. He he was great. He did commissions for Harrods, but uh, there's another one sideways. That's one of his. That's one of Laszlo's. Uh, but these are. I sold that one in a ga gallery in Hayes Gallery, no, Cousins Atrium, when it was open to the public. Um, it's a Kuwaiti owned property all the way along the Thames between Tower Bridge and London Bridge. And it was a lovely expression. I sold that for 400 quid the morning after the exhibition <laughs> opened. I was really pleased about that. So these are. That's acrylic. That was a that's based on a Seago, Edward Seago. That's one of mine. You see how the love of landscape is why I don't really paint houses too much. That's an oil painting. I did that actually plein air. Uh, that was based on an Edward Seago. These early days, these were all in the 90s, 1990s. Uh, but, but I, I mean, I did these from post or that from postcard. There's a big gap between then and now because I don't sort of keep my photographs. They're, they're all online, and heaven knows where they go. Uh, that, that was, yeah, there was a lot of, lot of uh, texture in that one. I was going to say detail then. Solve that one. Uh, but that's one of my favourite favourites. Uh, they, they, a lot of these sold in the gallery, but a, a lot didn't. And then for some reason, the uh, proprietor had a brainstorm and ended up sectioned under the Health Act and ended up in a hospital for four months and the gallery closed. Uh, well, these sort of all early watercolours, well, not they weren't that early. It's all about 15 years ago, 20, 20, 25 years ago. 
how time flies. I said, doing puppies then with acrylic. They they sold in a, a, a Hayes Galleria when there was a decent gallery there. It's all it's all the shops now. All the quality's gone out of Hayes Gallery, as far as I can see. That's one of mine. Uh, quite good, aren't they? See, what we used to uh, do was to to, to take um, well, the gallery did uh, Christie's catalogues, uh, cutting the uh, the fine art out out of them and work, working on them. Uh, none of them are copyright, really. Uh, we didn't copy them; we just moved them around a bit. And this is why I, I always, apart from one, one valiant effort on the Grand Canal, uh, I I found it easier to uh, do a Venetian backwater because nobody knows what they look like, so you can you can do what you like with them. But it was all uh, smoke and mirrors. But uh, it was a good year I had doing them. I, I did Venice uh, eighty as a commission for the gallery. But uh, half of them didn't sell, sell. but he said he got his money back on the ones he did sell. So anyway, we're all part of uh, an artist's life. I tell you what, there's a very good documentary on YouTube at the moment with uh, uh, Francis Bacon. His studio, studio was much worse than mine. He was buried in uh, detritus. Uh, but anyway, enough, enough talking. So let's just wet the brush. I've got five... Five uh, colours here. I've got an ultramarine, uh, a red, I don't know what it was, so it's in that some posh white red. It's in a tube. A burnt sienna, uh, a yellow, and yellow ochre. A Payne's grey is a neutral, so we're going to use some of that. A bit of red, and just, just do that. Do that with it. Got a bit of yellow in. My, my sort of way to abstraction. But I'm going to, it's just going to be a representation, so it's not going to be an abstract really. I just, just bang stuff in. Oh, we want a bit of light on there. So, uh, down there. You don't want to work on work on on uh, one bit. You want to work all over it because if you don't, you'll destroy the surface of the paper. So we're just going over it, and, and, and all the time it's drying. Right now, then a bit of red, a bit of bit of yellow, a bit of white. That bit of landscape under there, let's get some dark. Good brush, this. So they're, they're a bit bigger than I, I ordered. I wanted um, four one inch, there's got an inch on there, uh, Pro Art Hog Varnish Series 22. Um, they came up about five millimetres or 30 millimetres, which is about a quarter of an inch, bigger than the inch that I I, I ordered, but nevertheless, it's a... Uh, they're, they're good, but they're just a little bit too too um, wide. Let's go on in. Uh, yeah, that's good, isn't it? Right, let's try and get that nice and light on that horizon. Has he gone mad? I guess I'm about to turn him when he put the red uh, blob on his uh, fighting temeraire. When he came back from his lunch, he 
they I think spat in his hand and or his thumb and turned it into a boy, a red boy, bouncing up and down on the tide. Right, I'm gonna let that go for a minute. I'll, I'll leave that brush in soap. Probably will be time to use another. I bought four of them. Uh where are they? I'm waiting to to get some some earbuds, Wi-Fi, cheapo. I had some, well, a couple of parts of them. I can't find it. So and they're cheaper for about eleven pounds, including post and package. Just to sick of me of when I do this, really. Because wearing the headphones, so I do like listening to the to the radio. Let's just snip, snip that off. Carefully. Right. There we go. Have another one. Now, uh, have a bit of a bit of bright, bright yellow. Just get paint on. Don't don't worry about. What it looks like at the beginning, you've got to refine it as you go along. It's having fun with your paint, don't be frightened of it. It's only paper, paint. strong red, I don't really like it, but I'm just using it up. Ah, oh, it's great fun, isn't it? Put that in the drink, let's take another one back. So don't leave your brushes out because they will very quickly go hard, the acrylic will dry and then you've, you've lost your brush. And I can cook clean at the end anyway in, in washing up liquid. Right now then, I'm going to put some more of that yellow. It's not a very strong yellow, but uh, let's see what other yellows I've got. Oh, uh, let's try deep yellow. You always uh, undeepen it by uh, mixing with a bit of white. Oops, no, oh, come here. Right, and now he wants a bit of a, we want a bit of, bit of this and a bit of that on the horizon. Try to create something that is attractive rather than descriptive. Descriptive, yeah, good word. But the paint's great. I haven't used these paints for, for several months. I might have done one here and there. All experimental, I didn't know what I was going to paint today, I, but I just have to paint, I've got the time for it. And, uh, 
we're going to let my son's dog out. A bit of red in there. Oh, that red's very strong. Look at the nice light yellow. There's no green on this, just mixed with, hmm, I quite like that. So let's not really, get more light, shall we? Try and get some more light. So white, yellow. Uh, I'm going to probably do a couple of these. Now very carefully, I've, I've got to take this tape off without damaging the paper. I'm pulling away, going slowly, because sometimes it will, if you're not careful, take the surface off. But it doesn't matter if you're going to varnish it, because the varnish is just, as long as the middle is okay. This, this could, but doing this, it gives you a frame. taking off a bit. Alright, let's try this one. Well, that one's okay. It's only just a bit down down there, but I'll hide that in the varnish. Well, there we are. We've got a we've got a semi-abstract uh, feel, no refinement. Uh, these are supposed to be trees, but they're just abstract trees. And this, I didn't really want to, to uh, do much there, and that just justifies the the title, I think, of semi-abstract. Uh, right, okay, well, there we are. Uh, so, I'm, uh, I'm, so that's one page in the book. Now, in a, a couple of minutes, be, that will be dry. So I'm going to uh, go down to my tablet and... and... Uh, Download or upload this, the video for this, and then come back and do another one. Uh, what I'll do with this, I'll put it in a, in a stay wet box because it will dry if I'm not careful, and I've wasted most wasted my money on the paint. But if you if you like what I do and you want to support me, just go on you on PayPal. 
Und schon mal. Mal ich mal etwas, was ist Because all this costs money. Right. There, but they're, they're, they're sort of okay. So I hope you like that one, folks. Um, I'm not going to move it over. Um, I'm just going to... Well, I'm going to, going to varnish it now. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.